Hey friends, Tanya here with Tinkering in Ink with Tanya, and today I'm going to play with the wide box card dies and the futuristic family. These are from two different companies. This is the die set from Trinity Stamps. This just came out in their latest release, and I got it in the mail two days ago, I think, and I had to play with it immediately. I did uh, use the Scrappy Tales one um, earlier this week or post about it and this time let's use this one this is far more versatile it's got these stitched detail layers that you can put on your box and it uh, um, just creates this wonderful box I use some stuff from my stash I am going definitely for a futuristic um, feel with this or futuristic space uh, feel and I'm just going to use all of these pieces to put this box card together. So it takes two of the uh, main box elements to create the box and all of these layers. So there's a smaller rectangle, long rectangle that goes on the flap. And I did put uh, decoration on both sides of each of the flaps. And uh, you're seeing me put them on the second side here. And I am doing these on kind of inside out. I want the good side, quote unquote, of the paper to be on the inside of the card because when you see the flaps, you want the nice finished edge to be showing when you see the flaps turned down. Another really cool part of this die set is that it creates one big stitched element to cover the area that you want standing up because there's one of these that you don't want to actually fold on the crease line. So I created a piece of paper to go over each of each side of that tall one also. This is where you can write your message on the back. Um, <clears throat> or uh, decorate it a little more. Sometimes these don't say a whole lot, these box cards. Sometimes just the fact that it's such a great decorative item is the big purpose of it. And you can include a separate note if you would like, or you can just write on the back. <clears throat> and I'm finishing up putting all of the panels on, the decorative panels going to fold over on the ones that I need to fold and notice I didn't even crease these with my bone folder. I am using a fairly heavy weight cardstock. This is uh, some retired Stampin' Up stuff like oh gosh this is from probably 2006. It's old <laughs> but it matches very nicely with this paper which is also from my stash. So I'm using some 1 8 inch score tape and a little bit of my Barely Art precision glue here. I like the liquid glue and um, tape, heavy duty score tape combination because it gives me some wiggle room and double the strong adhesive. And since this is an interactive card, it's going to need lots of help there because hopefully people want to play with it a lot. <laughs> uh, these are the little, um, uh, I call them shelves. I don't know how else people will what other things people call them but uh, these are what you're going to put your little elements on inside the card these wide card boxes fit in a slimline envelope and this one fits in the envelope that is created with the slimline envelope die set which is oh amazing I love it as long as you stay within the confines of the box because if you go above the box you're going to be bigger than the envelope as you can see here I am taking one of the folded flaps from each of these and putting them on one of the side inside of one of the inside panels side panels and I am gluing those down and then folding them towards the other side and we're going to fold this over there are a number of ways that you you can do this. The chief element is that you are folding this these towards themselves and creating the box. And it goes pretty swift. That is the entire box. Now you can just get to decorating. And for this one, I have been, I used the Futuristic Family box from Kindred Stamps, which I happened to get on the same day. Pretty awesome. So I colored up all of these little elements 
with my Copic markers. There happened to be a die that cuts out that futuristic city. And I used some tonic um, craft perfect, uh, I think that's mirror card in petal pink, which doesn't look very pink here. It looks very purple. It's got this amazing iridescent quality to it. I think it really adds to this card. Um, I will have links to the things that are available. This particular box has already sold out from Kindred Stamps um, and they are not an affiliate for me. And here I just grabbed one of the envelopes that I had already created with the envelope die, slimline envelope die set from Trinity Stamps and it just fits perfectly in there. Look at that. And it's nice and flat. And when you pull it out and pop it up, you have this beautiful, detailed, super fun card. The sentiment is from that stamp set also. And I hope you enjoyed this card. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. If you haven't followed me in the past, please follow me now. And check out the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.